So I'm about to redo this cable for my gate. Um, I've got two turnbuckles here. I don't like that. Uh, it works okay, but I'm just going to do it right. And I'm going to just have one turnbuckle. So I thought I'd go ahead and make a new cable uh, to where it comes all the way down here to this turnbuckle. And then I can use this one for something else. But I, the way I do these is I've got a crimper, a little swaging tool that I bought with some ferrules. And I thought I'd go ahead and show you how easy and convenient these little things are. How nice, I mean, you can see how nice that turns out. Instead of having the clamp on type where you got two, uh, you know, little bolts, clamping it together, big bulky uh, thing. Uh, you know, this is a nicer, neater, better way to, to go about it. And I thought I'd go ahead and do do one, do a video on it, and show you how that's done. And I'll show you the swaging tool. It's not very expensive. I think I paid thirty-five dollars for it on eBay. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. They do either four or five different size ferrules, depending on what size cable you got. And and I'll show you all that. Let me get all set up. I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to unloop it from here. Take this little cable. Take it in the garage to where we can do it. I'll measure it out so that I know exactly how long I need it. And uh, we'll get her done. Okay, here's the ferrules. You can get these on eBay uh, or Amazon or other sites on the internet. Yeah, they're pretty cheap. I think these were about, I don't know, seven, eight, nine dollars for uh, i think a bag of either 50 or 100 so you buy a bag they'll last a long time uh there's another close-up of what the uh, swage looks like whenever you're finished with it and i trim it off flush so that you know there's no uh cable end sticking out to you know to grab onto your skin if you've ever been running your hand around a cable and you get a get a, uh, a stray cable strand stuck into you, you you remember it for a long time so let me get set up here uh, I want to do what I'm going to do I'm going to do the first loop right here I'm going to try to make it the same size that way I can measure this whole thing out including this turn barrel and I'm going to make another cable the same length so that we can just hook it right onto that other turn barrel. So that's the plan. Let me get set up. I'll uh, do this first one. Then I'm going to show you the easy, the easiest way to... They make cable cutters that do a great job. I don't have a pair of those, so I'll show you the way I do it. Because uh, the trick... This cable is the exact diameter as these ferrules. I can't remember what size cable this is I think it's eighth inch and you buy the ferrules for the size cable you're doing so if this is eighth inch cable you buy eighth inch ferrules the cable will fit just perfect in here so you can't have any frayed strands sticking out because you will fight like you won't believe trying to get the cable in here so the trick to making this a simple job is making sure you've got a nice clean cut on the cable so that it just slides right in and I'll show you what I do on that let me get set up to do the first crimp and then uh, we'll cut the piece of cable. I've got the cable down here. This is a piece of cable, the, uh, an original piece of cable that I used whenever I did these a few years ago. And uh, you can see I've already got tape on this end and, and that's part of the trick. Um, so let me get this ferrule loop through here uh, and we'll show you how, how this is done. Okay, so here's the here's the end of the cable. Here's the ferrule. I'm just going to slide it in there, loop it around, slide it back in this way. And I'm going to make this as close as I can, anyway, to this to this one here. That looks that looks pretty dang close. Now, whenever you're doing one of these right here on the bench, you can you can really easily 
do it to where you're not going to have to trim any of it. Just pull that through a little bit so that none's sticking out. That way when you crimp it, you're not going to have to worry about those strands. I'll show you the crimpers here in a minute, but first is, I'm going to go ahead and crimp this one. So we're just going to stick it right there. Smash it. Move it down. Smash it. It's that easy. Perfect little crimp. Nothing sticking out of the end to, to catch your finger on. And it's not going to slip. Now let me show you the crimpers. Um, crimpers I bought off I think I got these off eBay a few years ago. I think they're about $35. They do have a cable cutter to where you're supposed to be able to cut cable and they work pretty good. Stick the cable in there and, and it shears it. They work pretty good but I found it's not perfect. It still kind of frays the cable a little bit so I don't use them. Um, these are just a Chinese pair of swagers. They'll do five different cable sizes. Um, they've got these numbered one, two, three, four, five. That doesn't that doesn't mean nothing to me, unless that's millimeters, which it may be. Um, but I do uh, imperial cable. This I believe was eighth inch. So. These, obviously, if that is millimeters, it's close enough to where it still smashes the swage down and does a good job. So, let me show you how to cut the cable. We'll do this other end, and uh, we'll get this thing done. Now, here's the trick to cutting this without having any frayed ends. Wrap some masking tape. Probably any kind of tape will work um, around it. And what I use, cut off wheel and a die grinder. Once you cut through it, just take the tape off. And you got a perfectly cut end with nothing sticking out. And the reason that's important is again, the hole in this ferrule is just the perfect size for this cable. So you want to be able to get the cable stuck through there without any problems. Now, I cut this cable along so that I can get the, the exact length that I need. And hopefully I can go off of this uh, uh, turn barrel here and get, get pretty close to what I need. I'm going to shorten it up a little bit. And then I'll show you how to It may be a little too short, so I'm going to lengthen it. Okay, I'm going to go with that.
Now remember, you do this twice. You get a good picture of that. I've got it right there up front. That's the first one. This is tough with one hand. Okay. Second one. Another perfect crimp. Does a great job, will never slip. And I'll show you the way I, so what you want to do, I mean, you can leave this on here if you want to, but I, I don't, I get rid of it. It's too easy to get rid of, especially if you've got a grinder. There you go. Nothing sticking out to get your finger on. Not going to pull out. Not going to slip. So let's go out there to the fence and get this hooked up and see how it works. Got her on there. Looking good and working good. Could have probably made it just a little bit shorter. Probably got another, I don't know, maybe close to a half inch of adjustment. And it doesn't take much to tighten this cable. This cable's pretty tight right now. And just, I mean, like half a turn of this really, really snugs it up. <clears throat> this cable will probably stretch just a little bit over the next week or so. Uh, if it does, I'll come out and I'll just give it a quick little twist and uh, snug it back up. And that keeps my gate closing the way it should. Here in Texas, the uh, ground shifts so much that you've got to uh, put a little bit of tension on your gate to keep, keep everything lined up. And again, here's the crimpers, or swagers as they call them. Uh, it says 24 inches, they're about 24 inches long. Well, easy to use. There's little ferrules that you get for them. Barrels are really cheap. The swagers, I think, was about $35 when I bought them. I bought them a few years back. Got I got these off eBay. You can get them off Amazon also. Anyway, just wanted to show you that. Later.